Hello, furs and folks, and welcome to the first time to round 36. This round has started off creepily slow, and the tensions are highest protection has dropped for everyone on GN, and some shots have already popped off. But before we worry about that, grab a cup of tea, sit back, relax, and enjoy a good read. Or, you know, follow along with me in the video. It's up to you. Firstly, we have some round firsts. We're on about day seven, maybe eight. Mike once took a day and a half, so maybe day nine, to put one of my things out. We're going to start off with some of the rounds first, like the first person to be admin until day nine. We can park. Cheating never works in this game. If you ask a certain cat boy about it, they'll tell you it never works. Now let's move on down to the subject of killing. Old but Gold started out with a mission to kill everyone from the dawn unless he could find. He was exiled from this family for a reason I don't remember. And his look has sought revenge. And he got two people, but when he came upon the third person, Agent 01, he died in backfire, giving Agent 01 the first backfire kill and Old But Gold the first kill of the round. All on day four. Forget day six smoke. We, we're going to bring in a new thing. It's going to be day four smoke. Now, I have done this uh, so many times. So many remakes. But we're not going to get into that. I don't know how to say this fucking name. Long Bong, I don't know what it is, but you're going to have to tell me. Because I have no idea how to say that name. I know you guys can't see what I'm pointing to, but I'm pointing right on the paper to the Sokolaka Taka. You know? I don't know how to say it. I'm not even going to try anymore. Now let's move on to the top five. Before protection dropped, it was Santa, Ventus, Mattis, Frostbite, and Fizzle. And only an hour or two after protection dropped, we had Frostbite and Ventus dead. And even Fizzle caught a stray shot, realigning the entirety of the top five. So, you know, you guys got to stay proactive and stay safe out there. And on to the final topic of the round, we have our first family death being the Infernal Legion ran by Inferno. He was gunned down by a mysterious force, ending his family. Very first one of the round, and I think they did it just to get that kind of accolade. I don't think I've ever wiped out the family first yet, so maybe one day I'll do that too. But since then, families such as Kingsman, Boys Better Know, Skulk and Buffalo, and War have fired off shots or been fired at. Skulk and Papa and War, they had a couple members fired at each other, so there might be a war brewing there, guys. Want to keep an eye on them. Now let us scroll down to our shoutouts. We have Sniper Killer saying shout out to my boy Scumbag for his profile. Inferno for unknown one, two, three, four. Stay well, stay healthy, and I will always love you. Slate, don't hate the play, I hate the game. Shout out to Sanders, Alan, and Alan, you're all cunts. I can at least attest to Sanders, that guy's a dick. And a slot thief. Longtooth, shout out to all the sharks. And then a shout out to myself. Shout out to Kitty and Nan Nanoglyph for making stellar profiles, if you guys are looking for some. Go check out one of those two, they make great stuff. And it's relatively cheap. Now this one, I'm going to let you guys read yourself. It's called The Miseries of Gangster Nation. Now, if you've played this game for any considerable amount of rounds, I've played for damn near 30 of them myself. You, If you read this, you'll just, you can feel the pain and the grief that has been caused by this game. The PTSD not only Inferno suffers from, but a lot of us who've played for a long time. And if you're a new player and you don't know how it goes, read this. You'll get a pretty good gist of what happens. Now, if you're following along, we're making our way down through the news. Because I have to tell me what you think. It took me... Probably longer to find and make the memes than it did to write this whole damn paper. Probably shouldn't admit that on recording, but, you know. Then again, <laughs> there's a cut funny still. I spent my time thinking out right. Now on to Pepe's store. This is a new thing I found in Gangster Nation. I wanted to give it some light because it's weird. I never thought of something like this, and no one else has before. He, he takes 250k. He hasn't moved his prices. I don't know if he plans to. He's now number one in GT as of this recording. Well, don't know if you're watching it in the future or now, but if you're watching it now, he's number one in vehicle theft, at least still alive. So he might raise his prices. That said, he's already given out two milli. And all you have to do is give him 250k and you get his next car. Some people book out the entire day. I think I saw someone do that yesterday. But it's kind of cool. And if you look at this godforsaken poster, you can see basically all the details. I tried one. I got a crush car. It was kind of nice. Definitely something I might do again. I'd recommend it. And then on to Russian Roulette. This is the last section in the times. 
And I know it's usually Hunger Games, and some of you may not like it, but let me tell you. Russian Roulette has been a video I've been thinking about redoing for some time now. And we finally have the chance. I figured out how to do the brackets and everything. Ugh. Let me tell you, that that was a thing in and of itself. I don't know why I couldn't just get the concept, but I got it. Then the grand prize will be an X5 Millie Finder with five mission resets. I wanted to do five mission teams as well to make it a little cool, but, you know, time and money persists and all those things. And if you're scrolling along with me, you can look down at the video. It's about an hour long. It's worth it. It's pretty cool. Give you a gist of what we're doing. And, you know, that's Finn. We've done about everything there is up till this point. So I want you guys to go out there, get me some new information, maybe start a coup, maybe bully Mike, I don't know. Just be productive. And I'll see you all in the next one.